In this tutorial, we'll discuss whether you should do mobile first or desktop first. Right now, also uh, what we are doing here is is desktop first, right? So we have started from the wide view, and now we're gonna make it look good for smaller devices. Some people prefer to do it mobile first, so they actually start with the with a sm with a small uh, viewport, and then at the end they make it responsive to to make it look good on wider devices as well. Now, technically speaking, both of them will work should work fine. Right, it shouldn't really make a difference at the end. In the end result, it should be the same. However, in practice, uh, typically what happens is that if you if you start from desktop first, right, so the wider view first, you're gonna put in a little bit more effort to make it look good for the wider devices. If you start from mobile first, typically speaking, you're gonna make it look a little bit better for mobile, right? Because usually we we just put in more effort from where we start, right? So um, should you do desktop first or mobile first? Well, in my opinion, it depends on your user, right? So for a portfolio website, who is really the user that we are interested in? Well, it's going to be some kind of recruiter person, right? Some kind of professional. And these professionals, you know, when they go to websites like this, they're usually going to be on their laptop, right? Or desktop computer. You know, I think from that point of view, it makes more sense to also start from desktop or laptop first view. If your users are on mobile, well, in that case, you may want to start from mobile first to really make sure that everything looks good on mobile. Technically, it doesn't matter, but in practice, people do, you know, tend to put in a little bit more effort into the, the view that they start from. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.